Hi there, welcome. This is Diane, out and about, one woman's opinion. It is my thrill and my honor and my pleasure to review a very, very special performance that I went to at the Orange County Performing Arts Center. Let me see that. At, um, this week I went to see Topol, the original Topol on Fiddler and the Roof. And that man right there, his name is Topol, that's his real name, and actually this is his farewell tour, and I, I don't need, I, I, it's, I don't know where to begin, because there were so many things about this particular performance that were so moving to me and touching, and I just, I, I know that I did a special little hair roller set even in honor of it as I was going and I, and I intended on doing the review when I got back home but I ended up sleeping at my girlfriend's house that night and I just, I just didn't get to my review until right now but I didn't want to miss this opportunity and talk about if for some reason ever this comes across um, Topol's desk that he gets to see my review. I'm going to try not to be emotional because it was so fabulous. This is one of the gifts of enjoying the arts, is how they touch us and how they touch our hearts. And um, I try to collect myself. You know, you just, the power of watching excellence in other people as they express their talents and gifts with us is just, it's just, I don't even know how to say it. It just moves you to tears. There was a great quote by Edgar Allan Poe that I posted on my Facebook that talked about, you know, beauty in its forms moves the very sensitive to tears. And that's, that's I guess, what I experienced when I went there. Um, plus, if you're a fan of Fiddler on the Roof and you saw the movie of it, you know, back in the early 70s, first time I saw it I went on my eighth birthday and I remember I got a, a pack of red vine licorice all to myself and we went as a family to go see this movie and so many many years later decades later actually to see the same man who performed in the movie um, I had seen him before also in a live performance doing um, Fiddler on the Roof and for some reason when I saw it about 10 or 15 years ago you know, he just wasn't into it. It was sort of like the poor guy has had one role to span his whole entire career. But this performance was electrifying. It was magic. He came out and, you know, the whole, the whole entire audience was so riveted and, you know, in the moment realizing <laughs> this is a moment in time. We're making history. You know, he's got three more performances of his career to do this amazing role that he has, you know, been born for, I think. And he came out and just this swell of applause just flooded the entire, you know, theater. And I was so impressed that all of the people who, you know, were in the audience gave him that kind of an honor and then when you know if you know anything about the the show at all um it talks about a jewish family and uh, it's set just before the nazis took over and it talks about the whole tradition of you know their faith and about their family and there's a famous song that he sings if I were a rich man and then boom and as soon as he did that Absolutely, he got a, a you know a full-on applause, a swell of applause again, because that's his like famous, famous scene, and uh, the whole thing of it, you know, being close to God, reading the good book, having man and a woman and children and family and working hard. I mean, things that we, you know, I hate to say we don't do it today, but we don't honor it today like they did back then. It was absolutely infused with just wicked humor. His acting, everybody in the, it was so beautifully cast. The acting was superb, but his didn't exceed the others. As great as he was 
they were also great. It was a perfect ensemble. Um, another thing that I, you know, I don't want to fail to mention, as we were going in, um, you know, per, you know, per, you know, surveying the crowd, it was such a honoring, classy crowd. This is set sort of in the, the Beverly Hills of the Irvine area, and these people were dressed to go to the theater. In today's casual days, especially in Southern California, here was a place where, you know, women donned their finest, men, you know, got dressed up to go to the theater. And it was so wonderful to have that experience, to have everybody there show the proper respect for this amazing experience that we were about to have. Uh, as we were riding up in the elevator to get to our seats, there was a teenager in with us, and he was like this, you know, and I, 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 you know, I should have kept my mouth shut, but I didn't. I said, you don't seem like you're too excited to attend this, you know, play. And, and he, you know, his mom was like, yeah, he's not really excited. And I said, you know, think of all the other things that you could be doing that you, you know, the, all the awful things in the world that you could be doing, but you, you get to be here and watch this amazing performance of this man who, this is his whole career we're watching his last couple of days. You know, do you know how lucky you are? And he was just so, you know, like teenagers. Why did teenagers have to be so icky sometimes, you know? Mm. <laughs> you know, it's just like, oh, but you know, if you're in a company where you see a lot of elderly people, you're probably in a really cool place because they've lived a few years and they know what things are worth spending time and money on. You know, and they go, and I, I love it when I go to a place and I see a bunch of elderly people who are, you know, classy together kind of people because that means you know, I'm in good company. You know, this is a, a, a crowd of wisdom and experience here. Well, as we were leaving, we happened upon this young man and I said, oh, well, and he said, that was awesome. You know, I'm really glad that I got to be here. And then in, in the intermission, I heard this couple behind us. He leaned over and he kissed his wife or his girlfriend. And then he said, thank you so much for, you know, uh, having this experience. This I'm really enjoying myself. So I don't know how to give this any more of a glowing review. If there were five stars or ten stars, whatever would be the maximum plus two, I would give it because this just filled my heart, totally filled my heart with its beauty and majesty and artistry, which is one of the reasons I love theater. And so if you don't um, participate in attending the play, obtaining something that's live and that's beautiful, consider doing so because it really enriches your life. So thanks for watching. I know I, you know, don't get too emotional, but this one was just a winner all the way around. I'm Diane, One Woman's Opinion.